Imagine a future where your golden years aren't tarnished by the constant worry of making ends meet. A future where you can enjoy the retirement you've worked so hard for without the financial strain that has become all too common for so many seniors across Canada. Today, we have news that could make that future a reality for countless individuals who have dedicated their lives to building and serving our great nation. If you're a senior or have loved ones, who are nearing or in their retirement years. This video holds information that could positively impact their lives. I encourage you to engage with this content by liking it, as it will help spread this important news to those who need it most. Hello, fellow Canadians. I am your host, William. I'm honored to be the bearer of news that has the potential to uplift the lives of our nation's seniors a demographic that has given so much to our society and deserves to have their needs prioritized as they enter their well-deserved retirement years. Imagine being able to breathe a little easier, knowing that your financial burdens are being alleviated. That's precisely what the government aims to achieve with its latest initiative to increase Canada pension plan payments for seniors facing financial hardship. This news, announced yesterday by Minister of Seniors, Seamus O'Regan is a beacon of hope for countless individuals who have been struggling to make ends meet, despite their lifelong contributions to our country. Allow me to reiterate the exciting news that was shared during Minister O'Regan's press conference. The government has committed to providing substantial relief to seniors who have dutifully served Canada. Effective Tuesday, March 12, 2024, eligible seniors will receive a substantial increase in their Canada Pension Plan payments, amounting to $1,800 plus $200 per month, totaling $2,000. These additional funds will be deposited directly into seniors' accounts, providing immediate financial assistance to those who need it most. Imagine the profound impact this increase in CPP payments will have on the lives of seniors across Canada. It's more than just a mere adjustment in numbers. It represents a lifeline, a beacon of hope for those who have spent their lives navigating through the challenges of rising living costs and diminishing resources. It's a tangible recognition of the sacrifices and tireless contributions made by these individuals who have played pivotal roles in shaping the prosperity and fabric of our nation. With this increase, the government is making a solemn pledge that every senior regardless of circumstance, will be supported, valued, and provided for during their golden years. It's a powerful statement of commitment, ensuring that no elder will be left behind or forced to endure financial hardship alone. The significance of this increase in CPP payments simply cannot be emphasized enough. For countless seniors who have been grappling with the relentless burden of financial strain, this additional support of $2,000 per month holds the potential to transform their lives in profound ways. Picture the elderly individuals who have been forced to make agonizing choices between purchasing essential medications, paying utility bills, or affording basic necessities. For them, this boost in income isn't just about surviving. It's about reclaiming a sense of dignity and security that has eluded them for far too long. With this additional financial assistance, seniors can finally find solid ground beneath their feet once again. They can exhale a sigh of relief, knowing that they no longer have to worry incessantly about making ends meet. Instead, they can shift their focus towards embracing the retirement they dreamt of, a time to savor the fruits of their labor, to indulge in simple pleasures, and to cherish moments of joy with loved ones, free from the shackles of financial uncertainty. Indeed, the ripple effects of this increase in CPP payments reach far beyond simply easing financial burdens. It serves as a powerful symbol of the government's dedication to nurturing the very essence of our social fabric, a fabric woven with threads of compassion, reciprocity, and mutual support. At its core, it reflects a fundamental principle of our society, that we stand together in solidarity, especially when it comes to caring for those who have paved the way for us. By lifting the weight of financial worries from the shoulders of seniors, we're not merely providing them with a monetary lifeline. We're restoring a sense of security and dignity that is inherently intertwined with one's later years. This isn't just about numbers on a balance sheet. It's about honoring the inherent worth 
and contributions of every individual, regardless of age or circumstance. It's about reaffirming our collective commitment to ensuring that every member of our community can age with grace, respect, and the peace of mind they deserve. Visualize the immense relief flooding through the hearts of a senior couple as they receive news of the $2,000 per month increase in their CPP payments. It's a moment of sheer liberation from the relentless cycle of financial strain that has gripped them for so long. No longer do they face the agonizing decision of whether to prioritize medication over putting food on the table. Instead, they can embrace a newfound sense of stability and security. Picture them basking in the warmth of their home during the unforgiving Canadian winters, free from the looming specter of exorbitant utility bills. With this financial boost, they can finally indulge in the simple joys that have been out of reach for too long perhaps treating their grandchildren to an occasional outing, or replacing worn-out household items that have borne the weight of years of use. It's a transformational moment, where the constraints of financial worry are replaced by the boundless possibilities of newfound freedom and comfort. Consider the profound implications of this increase for seniors who live alone, a demographic often overlooked yet profoundly impacted by financial constraints. For these individuals, the additional $2,000 per month could signify a pivotal juncture between dependence on community assistance and the preservation of their cherished independence and self-sufficiency. With this financial boost, they are empowered to age gracefully within the comforting embrace of their own homes and communities, free from the pervasive anxiety of financial instability. Imagine the relief washing over them as they realize they no longer need to rely on external aid to make ends meet. Instead, they can maintain control over their lives, surrounded by the familiar comforts and routines that define their sense of home. This increase isn't just about monetary support, it's about preserving dignity, autonomy, and the right to live life on their own terms, regardless of age or circumstance. Moreover, this increase in CPP payments has the potential to ripple out into our communities boosting local economies as seniors have more disposable income to spend on goods and services. Small businesses, restaurants, and retailers could see an uptick in patronage, creating a virtuous cycle that benefits us all. This initiative is a shining example of the government's dedication to supporting our nation's seniors, recognizing their immense contributions to the fabric of Canadian society. It's a tangible demonstration that our leaders understand the unique challenges faced by those in their golden years and are committed to taking action to address them. For far too long, many seniors have been forced to make impossible choices, choices that no one should have to make at a time in their lives when they should be able to relax and enjoy the fruits of their labor. With this increase in CPP payments, the government is sending a powerful message. We see you, we hear you and we are committed to ensuring that your retirement years are lived with dignity, comfort, and financial security. It's important to acknowledge that this initiative is not a one-and-done solution. It's merely a significant step in the right direction. There is still work to be done to address the multifaceted challenges faced by seniors, such as access to affordable housing, health care, and long-term care solutions. However, by tackling the financial aspect first, the government is demonstrating its willingness to take substantive action and prioritize the well-being of our elders. While this news is undoubtedly a cause for celebration, it's essential to maintain a balanced perspective and critically analyze the motives behind the government's actions. Some may argue that this increase in CPP payments is a political move aimed at garnering support from a demographic that has historically been a reliable voting bloc. Others may question the long-term sustainability of such an initiative and its impact on the nation's finances. It's crucial to acknowledge these concerns and to hold our leaders accountable for ensuring that this program is implemented in a responsible and transparent manner. We must demand clear communication from the government about the long-term plan for funding and sustaining this initiative, as well as a comprehensive strategy for addressing the broader issues facing seniors in our society. Furthermore, it's important to recognize that while this increase in CPP payments will undoubtedly improve the lives of many seniors, it may not be a panacea for all. 
there may still be individuals who fall through the cracks or face unique challenges that require additional targeted support. It's our collective responsibility as Canadians to remain vigilant and advocate for those who may still be left behind, ensuring that no one is forgotten or overlooked. Now, let's address the all-important question. Who is eligible for these increased CPP payments and how can seniors access them? According to the government's guidelines, any Canadian citizen or permanent resident aged 65 or older who is currently receiving the Canada Pension Plan Retirement Pension will automatically qualify for the increase, effective March 12, 2024. The process for receiving these additional funds is remarkably straightforward and hassle-free. There is no need to fill out extensive paperwork or jump through bureaucratic hoops. The additional $2,000 per month will be automatically deposited into the accounts where seniors currently receive their CPP payments. It's a seamless process designed to ensure that every eligible individual can access this financial support without unnecessary barriers or delays. For those who may not currently be receiving CPP payments but believe they qualify, the government has established a dedicated hotline and online portal to assist with inquiries and applications. Trained representatives will be available to guide seniors through the process, ensuring that no one is left behind due to a lack of information or technological barriers. As we conclude this discussion, I want to leave you with a sense of empowerment and hope. This increase in CPP payments is not just a number or a policy change. It's a testament to the power of collective action and the importance of advocating for those who have paved the way for us. Our seniors have given so much to our nation, and it's our responsibility to ensure that they can enjoy their golden years with the dignity and financial security they deserve. This initiative is a significant step in that direction, but it's just the beginning. I urge you to share this news with your loved ones, your communities, and your networks. Spread awareness about this important initiative and encourage those who may be eligible to take advantage of it. Together, we can ensure that no senior in Canada is left behind, forgotten, or forced to endure financial hardship. Furthermore, I implore you to engage with this content by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Your actions will help amplify this message and ensure that it reaches those who need it most. Together, we can create a ripple effect of positive change, one that resonates throughout our communities and uplifts the lives of those who have given so much to our nation. As we look towards the future, let us do so with a renewed sense of optimism and confidence. This increase in CPP payments is a testament to the government's commitment to supporting our seniors, and it's a beacon of hope for those who have been struggling to make ends meet. While challenges may still lie ahead, we can take solace in the knowledge that our collective efforts are making a tangible difference in the lives of those who have paved the way for us. Together, we can build a future where our seniors can truly enjoy their golden years, free from the burdens of financial insecurity and filled with the comfort and dignity they so rightfully deserve. So, let us embrace this news with open arms and open hearts and let us continue to work towards a society that truly honors and uplifts our elders, the pillars upon which our great nation was built.